Okay, now um, a uniform metal rod of length 20 cm and cross sectional area 8 exponent negative 5 meter square is compressed by a force of 160 newton along the axis of the rod. Determine the strain energy stored in the rod. Okay, given the Young's modulus for metal is 1 exponent 11 newton per meter square. Good. So, um, information given is the length. Okay, be careful with the unit. Okay, let's look at all the units. Okay, the rest are SI unit. Only the centimeter you need to change to meter. Be careful with all the units, yeah? That's the first thing you should check. And then look for keyword information given you have length and then cross sectional area. Okay, and then compressed. It's being compressed by a force of 160 Newton. So this one should be the force in the rod. Okay, the force in the rod. Uh, strain energy stored. We want to find the strain energy stored in the rod. Good. So, okay, given the Young's modulus here. Uh, right. So, uh, what can we do from, for this? Uh, first of all, let's change the. Uh, never mind, never mind. Okay. Uh, so given you you need to find the strain energy. Okay, let's outline the formula for strain energy. Formula for strain energy is actually like elastic potential energy in the in the rod. Okay, is actually the area under Fe graph is a triangle. It's a triangle, so it's like half times base times height. Uh, half Fe. Uh, force over elongation. So it's half times force times elongation. Uh, actually, that, that's, this is the formula for strain energy. Yeah? So strain energy is half uh, Fe. Uh, or if you have the force constant, you can also use half Ke square. Uh, half Ke square. Alright, uh, we have the force already, but we don't have the elongation. So how to find the elongation? Ah. Uh, so we can find that from the Young's modulus because uh, Young's modulus formula, uh, Young's modulus formula is stress over strain or F L over A E. Uh, this is the uh, formula. Okay, so uh, okay, Young's modulus is actually uh, stress, you know, stress over strain, or or it, it, we can also derive out the unit. Stress is actually force over area, isn't it? Uh, force over area. And strain is like elongation over original length. So if we uh, we multiply, you see, uh, if uh, the top uh, we want to eliminate the denominator, yeah, denominator area and length. So we just multiply by the same thing, yeah. We just multiply by let's say uh, the top we multiply area and below also we multiply area. So the area will be gone. And also we multiply by the original length, multiply by original length. So the length also will be gone. Uh, look at here. So area gone. And then the original length is gone. Ah, so you know multiply same thing top and bottom is like you multiply one. Yeah, multiply one. So that's how I eliminate the denominator. And uh, we can get the formula what? We can get the formula FL over AE. Uh, that's how we get the formula FL over a E uh, F L over A E. Okay, uh, so so from here we can get the elongation that's needed for strain energy. Okay, uh, that's our elongation here. Uh, so, so the Young's modulus is equal to this formula. So we can use this formula already. Uh, okay, so put in all the values needed. So this is one exponent eleven. That's our Young's modulus. One exponent eleven. And F is um, 160 Newton. 160 Newton. Multiply by the original length, which is uh, 20 centimeter. Centimeter change to meter, you need to divide by 100. So it becomes uh, 0 0.2 meter. Uh, change to SI unit, yeah? Uh, divide by 100. And then area, do you have area? Yeah, cross sectional area given. Also in SI unit, meter square. So no need to change anything. 
just 8 exponent uh, negative 5 8 exponent negative 5 okay and then elongation ah we can find our elongation here so the elongation is equal to okay so the answer is uh elongation is 4 exponent uh, negative 6 for exponent negative 6 ah meter ah, that's the elongation okay so uh half times mat, uh, force force is uh so what's the force in the wire uh, this is the compressive force 160 newton so just put in a uh, 160 uh, and then elongation no it's a compression uh, actually this elongation can be uh, either elongation or compression right uh, okay this is a uh, 4 exposure exponent negative 6 meter or in SI unit so that's our answer let's calculate uh, Okay, it is a uh, 3.2 exponent, 3.2 exponent, negative 4 joule. That's our energy. Is that correct? Yes, 3.2 exponent, negative 4 joule. That's correct. That's it. Thank you.